Good morning. Today I'm going to read from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. All right, so here we go. Now the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to the city in Galilee called Nazareth. So a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the descendants of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming in, he said to her, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was very perplexed at this statement and kept pondering what kind of salutation this was. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God. And behold, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age, and she who was called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, the bond slave of the Lord, may it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. So obviously this is this is the starts of uh what Isaiah had had foretold um, back in his time, the scriptures are, are finally starting to be fulfilled. Just that God had had promised, and I believe this is four hundred years or so from from the time of the captivity. Of, of the Israelites to Babylon, I believe. I sometimes I get a little bit sketchy on my on my years. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. Um, but so a couple of uh, real nice things to glean from one: the prof the prophecy of Christ coming to save man. You know, has officially been announced to start. Um, of course, uh, the confusion of Mary, one, you know, I don't think she, you know, who, obviously she probably never seen an angel before. And two, the fact that she was perplexed because Gabriel said favored one. I think her confusion, her, and the perplexity of her understanding what the statement meant just shows how humble she is. You know, she's just thinking herself a simple girl and here there's an angel appearing before her calling her favored one. So that, that shows Mary's humility. And then also um Yeah, she doesn't show doubt either, but she does um, wants to understand how she's going to give birth to the Son of God when, you know, she's a virgin. And, it, and the question doesn't come, come from a question of doubt. It just comes a, it comes out of a of an attitude of of wanting to uh, wanting to know, and then of course Gabriel mentions Elizabeth, uh, who is barren, and if I remember right, Zach Zacharias was the father of John the Baptist, and back in his story when uh, he was told that. That Elizabeth was going to conceive a son that would come before the Savior to make ready the, the road for Christ. 
uh, he questioned it based on doubt because he wanted proof that would make him believe that this was going to happen. And as a result of that, uh, disbelief and doubt, uh, uh, Zacharias was made mute, couldn't talk until after, I think until after John was born. Then he was able to talk. So, from that uh, aspect, it's okay to question God. You just got to question God the right way, with the right attitude in your heart. But once Gabriel did tell Mary, this is how it's going to happen, Mary was all in. She was like, okay, if that's what the Lord wants to do to me, so be it. Which shows her faith and her obedience to do what God asked her. So, um, just a great pre precursor to what's about to happen. I felt it was pretty fitting to share this on Christmas Eve morning with you guys. And just bottom line, I think this this is just a this is a beautiful story of how to uh, of how to correctly question God. But also how to um, be faithful and accept uh, what God tells us. So anyways, hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And I will see you tomorrow morning on Christmas morning. Um, and I love you guys. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye.